Hola, hola. My name is Ramon, cosmetic formulator and Korean skincare fanatic. And today I felt like it was time that I do something a little bit different and do a full brand review around a specific Korean brand. I feel like I haven't done this in a minute. And that brand I'm going to be highlighting is Bar Cosmetics, a small Korean indie skincare brand that I discovered randomly here in London when shopping with my boyfriend. Today I'm going to be going through the four products I have from them and researching for the video. I found out there are more. I don't have them. These are the products that I personally have purchased just either in store here in London or online via Yes Style or their other official online retailers. Breaking down a little bit about what the brand is, Bar Cosmetics, spelled B-A-R-R, -R, is founded by two sisters, Celeste and Joey, and their main objective with the brand was a minimalistic approach to Korean skincare with a focus more on specific types of ingredients that are going to be really soothing but very, very hydrating and nourishing to the skin. This is a type of video I feel like a lot of people have wanted and also requested because the last is vegan and cruelty free and the products I'm going to talk about today are all alcohol, fragrance, and essential oil free. Great for sensitive skin, a fairly inclusive bunch of ingredients in terms of like skin conditions and skin types that can use them. I've been using these. I think the first product I bought was back in October. So I've been using these for a minute now, at least the last six plus months, and my opinions are very, very firm on them. Let's just say that a couple of these are going to be empties very, very soon. So the first product I have is their Centella Calming Gel Cleanser. And basically what this is, is it's a gel cleanser that they want to be able to effectively cleanse the skin. They have demos that this is very effective in taking off even very stubborn waterproof makeup while simultaneously soothing the skin, not irritating the skin, and leaving the skin nicely hydrated without stripping or drying it out. And truth be told, I think this is going to be my first empty from the line. This lives permanently by my sink. This is the one of the cleansers that I reach for the most often because it is a really, really nice, elegant texture. I am very confident in the fact that when I need to take most things off my face, one go with this is enough to do so. And it's just a nice texture that that if I have to repeatedly cleanse my face, for example, on a day that I'm doing various wear tests or swatches or whatnot, this is one I can use that won't leave my skin compromised. And as you can see, the foam that this produces is a very nice creamy lather. It feels very nice and plush and velvety on the skin. Some ingredient callouts, as the name suggests, you have Centella in here at 1%. You have 0.35% PHA, 0.1% each of green tea extract, as well as allantoin. Then you also have some ceramide, as well as a Toynia cordata extract in here as well. So really what you're getting from this, again, it's a wash off cleanser. You're not going to be getting all these amazing benefits from these ingredients just because it is a short contact time when it's rinsed off but basically what that recommends and that suggests is the fact that you're going to be left in a place after you rinse off the cleanser where your skin isn't feeling too dry and too stripped those are a lot of ingredients that are helpful with anti-inflammatory benefits as well as helping to restore or maintain the moisture barrier so now that we're all cleansed obviously it's time to go in and restore some hydration and really build that up and I'm going to be going in first with their toner specifically this is their Centella calming ampule toner this is just a very nice lightweight oily skin friendly toner I'm going to emphasize those points it is very water like lightweight and I think a really good option specifically for more normal to oily skin types. Looking specifically at the product claims, they say that this is a watery lightweight toner that absorbs really quick and leaves the skin nicely soothed and hydrated. This is formulated with 80% centella extract as well as jojoba seed oil and hotania cordata extract and panthenol as well. And so basically what all those together are going to help do is help to hydrate the skin, balance out the skin in a way that's going to help control excess even production and soothe the skin. And you get some antioxidant benefits as well. This is a product I think I've been using the most in the last few months. The reason why is, as I mentioned all the time, I'm wrapping up esthetician school right now and we're actively doing treatments on ourselves and each other. Our skin is compromised. Like we've just been doing treatment after treatment after treatment and your skin can really only tolerate so much. We've been able to bring in our own products to use. So I've been bringing this in and using it on the other girls and having them use it on me. It's really helped to bring down a lot of the redness and inflammation we're getting, helping to really soothe our skin with all the treatments we're doing so much so that all the girls have like taken note of what this product was to order it themselves. It has been a really effective product that I've used even at home. For example, I think one time I was filming a video that required me to do like exfoliator application on screen. And my skin got so red and inflamed. I put this on along with the cream from the line and within half an hour that redness was subsided. My skin was nicely soothed. So this is I think the product that I want to repurchase the most. Although I really do enjoy the other products in the line too. But I think this is to me like the standout product in terms of the benefits I'm 
been able to see from it in a more short term period. Ingredient callouts for this, obviously, as I mentioned, you have that centella in there at 80%. You have panthenol, Hetonia cardata extract, the jojoba oil. You also have some nice humectants in there as well, aside from those. Glycerin and sodium hyaluronate. You have arginine as well as a little bit of ceramide up in there as well. So this is really doing a lot to help hydrate the skin and doing a lot to help strengthen the moisture barrier, help aid the moisture barrier and its function. And then you also have white willow bark extract, which we see willow bark extract a lot in K-Beauty. And fundamentally, I think it's just giving a really nice soothing benefit as well. This is watery, but there's still some body to it. But because it is lightweight, it's one of those formulas that's nice to layer up and do several skins of it if you really want to build up the hydration, double up on those soothing benefits. One of my favorite things I talk about a lot on my channel, taking some cotton pads, which now we have reusable ones, soaking those up a little bit and placing them as kind of like a DIY sheet mask for a little bit more of an extended contact time with the product. This in the fridge, cooled down, feels great. And then next from the line is their Essence. This is their Centella Calming Gel Essence. And to me, this I think is my least favorite product of the line, just because essentially what this is, is a more concentrated version or a thicker, not even, it's a thicker, more viscous version of the toner. It's a little bit more of a gel serum texture as you're gonna see on screen. But to me, this just doesn't have the same impact as the toner does, honestly. But looking at the claims of this, again, a lot of the same ones as the toner. You have 85% Centella in the form of extract and the derivatives. You have Panthenol in here at 0.3%, and you also have Jojoba in here as well. So again, it's intended to like hydrate, balance the skin, give you some like nice hydrating benefits. But I just honestly feel like I get a little bit more impact or just like the experience more with the toner in that I can use a lot more and not feel like I'm wasting product. This, I feel like I need a lot to feel like I'm getting a good impact from it. And it's just, it's such a small packaging that I just, it feels like I shouldn't be using as much. They recommend two to three pumps. To me, two to three pumps doesn't cut it. And they say that for like the face and the neck. So it's not bad. It's just, I feel like I get a lot more from the toner itself. It is a nice, more richer gel texture. It goes on the face and gives you a nice radiance and like hydrating look to the skin. The reason I don't like it as much as the toner is just the fact that again, it feels like, especially off the claims of the products, the toner and the essence are supposed to do the same thing, but I feel like I get a lot more of the benefit, a lot more of the payoff with the toner. And plus I have the ability to be a lot more generous in my use with the toner, as opposed to, again, with the essence, it's not as much. If you want to double up, the essence after the toner is not a bad experience, but using this by itself on wet skin, it just doesn't cut it for me. But now we're all hydrated, it's time to lock it all in. We're going in with the last product, and this is the product that introduced me to the brand. This is the Centella Calming Barrier Cream, and it says it all right there. It's Centella Base, it's a calming cream, and it's a barrier cream as well. This has been loved. This, I bought it again back in like October, November timeframe. We saw this, we were shopping um, in Shoreditch here. There's a little shopping area called Box Park, and in one of the shops, there is a K-Beauty pop-up, Koja Beauty, I believe is what it's called. My boyfriend was looking for, specifically he wanted something a little bit more rich, like an inclusive cream, and we were gonna get the Pion Cagnol something or other. But I looked down and I saw this one and I was like, I've never heard of this brand before. But I think what stood out to me was, hey, the packaging's kind of cute. But also right front and center, it kind of advertises what it's all about. It gives you some ingredient breakdowns and technically all the products do that. They're more transparent with what they're trying to highlight. I was like, I've never heard of this brand before, but it looks cute. Let's try it out, see what happens. And this ended up on a 2020 favorites list. I've obviously used it considerably and it's just a really nice product if you're going to try a product from bar i think this has to be the first one it's intended to help to strengthen or maintain the skin barrier while also nicely soothing the skin and it's not sticky or heavy on the skin and i think that's why i really loved it so much this is a great soothing barrier cream but it is definitely oily skin appropriate it comes out in a like looks like a richer gel cream texture there's still a gel quality to it that's nice and lightweight and has good slip to it but it just melts in the skin you can feel like it's really doing the work it needs to do in terms of helping to occlude and really help to aid the skin barrier but in no way does it feel heavy and too occlusive you know with that that was my semi brand review of bar cosmetics i would say full brand review but come to find out there's more products i haven't tried yet and i definitely want to get my hands on them standout products if you have to get anything from the line i definitely recommend the barrier cream it was a product that sold me on the brand and made me want to look into it more definitely check out the toner if you're looking for a toner and want something again that is going to be very very soothing the only thing I want to see from them, and just because based off this and what I think they could really do well in, plus they're a Korean brand and plus all the other brands now are kind of getting things in check with it, is 
a sunscreen. I would love to see a sunscreen in the same style of all these other products. Obviously, they really focus Centella first and foremost. Therefore, to me, I'm like, would it be like Perito Centella Green Level Part 2? But their own spin on it, I don't know. I love the line overall. Definitely, I'm going to look into the other products. The links for all these are going to be down in the description box as well. Again, they have Yes Style as one of their official retailers as well as Amazon. So depending on where you are, I'll have links for everything in the description box. Let me know down below in the comment section. Have you tried anything from Bar Cosmetics? Also let me know what other brands do you want to see me do like a fuller brand review of? Make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and fancy related content on my channel. Give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching guys. Bye!